ever wondered what happens to Bitcoin after its mining reward gets cut in half. Many assume that this event known as the halving is responsible for driving up Bitcoin's value. But is that really the case? Let's dive into what happened during the previous halvings and explore whether we can expect similar results this time around. On April 11, 2023, Bitcoin will experience its fourth halving, reducing the number of Bitcoin generated per block from 625 to 3125 Historically, there has been a significant rally there in Bitcoin prices after each halving. However, investment bank Goldman Sachs warns against blindly assuming that the pattern will hold true. Once again, and Goldman Sachs notes that while previous halvings coincided with increased Bitcoin values, the timing varied greatly. Moreover, they caution against relying solely on historical data due to different macroeconomic circumstances. So let's take a closer look at these differences. Unlike prior events, our current economic situation features higher inflation and interest rates compared to the low or even negative rates experienced previously. Additionally, monetary growth among major global central banks is slower now than it was back then. With these contrasts between the past and present, can we still anticipate a positive outcome? This year has already seen a remarkable 50% increase in Bitcoin's price surpassing earlier records despite being weeks away from the halving. This boost comes primarily from investments flowing into U.S.-based spot exchange traded funds, ETFs, resulting in substantial asset accumulation. Assets managed within these 11 newly launched spot-based ETFs total nearly $60 billion, a clear indication of demand and supply. Uh, some experts argue that most of the typical post-halving surge might occur sooner rather than later, because of early investor enthusiasm. Consequently, any potential sell the fact decline could follow shortly after the halving. And so where does this leave us? Well, Bitcoin halvings traditionally serve as psychological milestones reminding investors of its fixed supply. Their significance for future price fluctuations remains uncertain. Instead, the fate of Bitcoin may hinge upon the success of ETF adoption. Will the upcoming having act as a buy the rumor, sell the news moment, or will continuous demand propel further growth? Only time will tell. Until then, remember that predictions are never set up in stone. Sometimes life gives you lemons instead of bitcoins. With that said, thanks for tuning in, and see you next time.